Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now, I've got a table full of cat, cat layers here and we'll have a look at them in a minute. But first, I've had such a busy day today, it's been unbelievable. I've decided to clean out the old greenhouse that hasn't been touched for years. And uh, I've never done as much lugging and pushing and going to the tip in all my life. So I'm a bit knackered at the moment, if you don't mind me saying so. But uh, I'll do my best to show you these. Anyhow, I'll show you what I've been doing. Well, this is the other greenhouse I've been cleaning out. It's an 8x6. And uh, I've taken all the bubble wrap off, which was a horrendous job because it was breaking up into my hands in little flakes. It was terrible. But I've got all that off. I've got all the screws. And uh, this is on at the back. Just walk in. These white bars is the... Uh, where I have the water. I'll just turn it on and show you. There we go. So I've got water in here and I'm hoping to uh, grow some uh, begonias. Uh, it should be nice in here. It's a nice dry, well a nice shady side on the left hand side here and uh, a bit bright in sun on the other side. But right next to the trees and the woods, so you can see all the way around here, there's, uh, there's nothing there. No houses, no nothing. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting this one sorted out. I've no push, but uh, I'll get it done. This little, uh, what do you call them? I don't know. Just attached to the side of the greenhouse, but I'm going to take that off. I mean, the stuff has been in there for two, three, four years and never been used. So it's about time that got tucked to the tip. Now these tables here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand them on this soil here. You believe it or not, this never gets a touch of sun. So I'm going to put them on there when I've flattened it all out, and on there I'm going to put the. Uh, the cat layers, not the cat layers. I'm going to put the cymbidiums all, all summer. So uh, they'll be in the shade all the time but they'll get the warmth. So that should do them fine there. I mean all my cat layers are absolutely bone dry now so I'm going to water them as well after I've uh, after we've had a look at them. This one is uh, oh I've forgotten the labels uh, the labels there but I can't read it so we'll, we'll sort that out in a bit. It's not doing much, not growing much. Uh, there's a nice new growth there, but apart from that, it's never done anything in the last uh, 18 months. Now this is one I nearly threw away. The only thing it had on there was, the, was this one growth here. But I've persevered and it's come up with a new growth there. Very, very slowly, putting out some decent roots, not superb roots, and this is a Little Dipper crossed by Bright, what's it called? Bright Angel. So, uh, not a big cat layer this. Only grows to about 10 inches tall, that's all. But uh, it's doing okay. Now this is the name of the, uh, the first one I showed you that I couldn't name. And this has also got a white label on that I can't read anything. But it's something dancer. I have it written down inside, but uh, I haven't made a label for it yet. Now this is doing better than the other. It's grown a new growth there. And it's done that in the last 12 months. So uh, they, they, they all need an absolutely drenching of water, these. Well, this is Alma Key, Trimley, and uh, not doing much since I had to split it. Uh, tried to put up a sheath there, but uh, it died off. But uh, come the nice warmer weather, and it should start doing okay. I think I have two of these. Well, I must have. I must have two of these if I've split them, mustn't I? This one is the Lelia perinii. Hasn't done anything since it flowered. Not one little thing. Uh, not even put out any new roots. But uh, beautiful flower on these, but they don't last that very long. But uh, we'll keep going with it. We'll keep going with it. Lelia perennii, or perennii. 
Now this is the other Alma key and uh, it's in exactly the same state as the last one. Not going any worse but uh, not showing any inclinations to start growing. Same as the last one you see, had a sheath and didn't and died. But that's another one that uh, needs to come on. And here's one that hasn't grown much since I've had it and it's something, oh, I've just forgotten, white boulder. Uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful, beautiful flower, but uh, as you can see all the pseudobulbs are a bit wrinkled and I, I keep them watered. Well, I haven't done for the last two or three days I haven't watered them, but I do water them about three times a week. But they're in a very humid and warm atmosphere and very light, so I thought they'd have done very well in that. Now this one has been doing very, very well there. Uh, since winter, since beginning of winter. Well it's put up two two uh, two pseudobulbs, one there, one there, and both with uh, bifoliate leaves on. So uh, this is a Catlianthe actually, a Catlianthe Luton African Beauty. So uh, I'm expecting something of that uh, this year. Absolutely beautiful red flowers on this one. And if they were like the one I used to have years ago, they'd look like, uh, if you touched them, they felt like velvet. And this is one of my favourites, the, uh, the Catlia Dawiana. Two nice new growths on it there. That was the first new growth. You can see the pseudobulbs not that very big, but the leaf is. And the second new growth is the uh, pseudobulb is much, much bigger. And there's the growth, there's the leaf. So I'm very pleased with that. Some quite nice roots on it as well. So that's uh, Catlia Dawiana. This one looks like it's ready for a repot. It started leaning over. So I shall repot that uh, shortly. But I don't think I'll have time this week. I'm so busy because, uh, oh, I've got to go for my second jab as well. Oh well. I'm lucky. Anyhow, this is uh, Catlia Hey Song Tianmu, and it's not doing too bad. It's not showing up much, but uh, I had one new growth last year. That's this one. So uh, I could be quite pleased with that one. You see, there's not a lot to show you on Catlias unless they bloom, and then they, you know, then you can show one and make a. 15-20 minute video of it but uh, like me I like everybody I, I have my ups and I have my downs I have my uh, successes and I have my failures and if you didn't have that I don't think you bother keeping them this one's an RLC which is Rinkol Lelia Cat there and uh, this is Leo Hope spelled L-I-O-U hope and uh, this is just coming up with a new growth you can see there just coming up so uh, when you see these I'm uh, awfully pleased especially on the cat ears or else Liu hope this is my old favorite with masses of roots at the bottom king of Taiwan and if you remember it came up with two nice growths and uh, with, with a sheath on each of them and I'm pleased to say one of the sheaths I think has got two buds inside it one's got nothing but this one as you can see it's really swollen up here very big here so I think that's got two nice buds coming up in it it's got something anyhow I hope it's three but that's the king of Taiwan Where's the other one that uh, you can always tell which one they are of the colour of them. That's the other one. And the uh, it came up with a, a sheath but it's gone. Now that's strange. Ah. Oh well, I must be mistaken. And last but not least is the uh, 
uh, RLC Pink Empress. Absolutely beautiful. Jushen. And this uh, tried to flower last year, but a snail got the bud and I had to cut it off before it had the chance of opening. But it's putting up, up another sheath there and uh, I can't see anything in the sheath yet. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's quite fat down here, the sheath. So this is flowering as well, absolutely definitely. So I'm pleased about that one. Anyhow, that's all that I've got for you today, I think. Just have a little quick look at the cat layers. I'm sorry there's no blooms. So I've got to get all these watered now, get them thoroughly soaked, you know, so they can last another two or three days. Continue uh, growing, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers again. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.